Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So lately I've had so many video ideas because I hadn't filmed in so long and every time I learn something for myself I then make a note of it on my phone and decide that I need to film about it for you because I'm literally telling you and sharing you things that I've learned and experienced for myself and that have helped me. So take whatever resonates and leave whatever doesn't. But for this video we're going to talk about how to actually heal yourself and how to implement shadow work like what it actually looks like because people talk about shadow work all the time they talk about healing they talk about processing your emotions but I feel like no one really walks you through what that actually looks like because it's such a personal moment to moment like thing it's something that happens in your personal life it's not something that you can just whip out a camera and film so I'm gonna kind of explain to you something that happened to me and then hopefully that will help you for your own journey and doing it for yourself so the other day maybe a week ago something like that I had a dream about an ex and I actually have a video that talks about why you dream about your ex so you can check that out I will link that up here but um, I had a dream about an ex that hasn't happened for a little while. And so in this dream, I felt fully fucking triggered afterwards when I woke up. I was like, why did I just dream about them? Like full trigger moment to the point where it like, I could feel the thoughts running through my mind. It was taking over the present moment when I first woke up. So I realized, okay, I can't actually get on with my day while I'm in my feels. So instead of letting that just affect my entire day, let me, now that I've just woken up, sit with these emotions, sit with this sadness and this triggering that's coming up so I can process it. So then it doesn't continue on for the rest of my day. So I did something that I love to do, which you may not want to do, but this is just what I do, is I pulled tarot cards because I feel like when the ego mind is racing and it's telling you all of these narratives, it can get in the way. It can kind of block you from your intuition and from the inner knowing of the truth of whatever it is that you're experiencing. So for me to kind of bypass my ego mind, I like to just pull some cards because they will give you the message from your subconscious that you're not willing to look at. <laughs> Sometimes certain cards come out and I'm like, why the fuck has that card just come out? Because you're consciously not thinking about the truth of the situation. It's kind of in the way, your ego mind. But when you're pulling cards, you can get to the subconscious message that you actually need. And it can oftentimes be a card that you weren't expecting. So anyway, I, like, I sat there and pulled some cards for how I was feeling. I asked the cards questions to show me what this wound is that I'm feeling. And then certain messages came up with those cards because I also have a book um, that explains what the cards mean and stuff like that. If you're a newbie to tarot, I definitely recommend getting some books for it because then you, or you can even search on um, Google. There's loads of websites that tell you what each card means. So you're not sitting there with your ego mind. You'll actually have the meanings right there in front of you that explain exactly what it is that it's telling you and then you can kind of relate it to your life so I sat there and I pulled these cards and I asked it questions about the wound that I was feeling what was my dream trying to show me what is it that I'm still feeling sad about why am I triggered like I was just asking all of these questions and pulling a card for it so that I could get to the root of it and then I decided after that after kind of understanding a little bit more about why I was feeling sad about this past person, I then was able to access those parts of me that feel that way. Because sometimes we can get caught up in our ego mind and want to logically understand it, but our body and our emotions, our heart is feeling something. And oftentimes we don't even need to consciously understand why we're feeling that way. We just need to be present with the fact that we're feeling that way. Like that part of you just needs some comfort. It needs some love from you. It needs some awareness and some presence from you. So once I knew a little bit about why I felt that way. And then I was able to just sit with that part and be like, it's okay. 
it's actually okay that you feel sad right now. It doesn't even really matter why we feel this sadness. I'ma just be here with you because you feel sad and I'ma just give you some comfort as if you're my inner child, you know, and just being present with the feelings that are coming up and then in that process of being present with it of allowing yourself to feel that way and not try and judge it or shame it or run away from it you know like we're not trying to just avoid it and act like we don't feel it I'm acknowledging it I know I feel it so I'm gonna just let myself feel it let it take over and go through that process if that means you need to cry if that means you need to yell whatever triggering thing comes up just allowing yourself to do that and then through that process the emotion starts to release you know like when you cry if you think about it when you actually cry you don't end up crying for days non-stop you know like you might cry for a few minutes you might cry for an hour but the crying does stop it does release and you kind of it's almost like you run out of tears like it's just stopped and you're done you know so it's the same thing with any kind of emotion when you let yourself sit with it it does actually stop it does actually release but it's not going to release if you keep shaming it and trying to like punish it and act like it's bad for being there because it's not bad for being there sadness is perfectly normal and it's okay for it to be there so just letting yourself feel it letting yourself comfort yourself for feeling that way and then you might want to delve into why and whether that be through tarot or whether that be through some other means just delving into why you're feeling that way what that wound actually is like why you're still thinking about the person or whatever circumstance it is that you're in you can then go deeper into the why and deeper into the root of whatever past experience it is that is causing it but just being present with it will help it to release so so much and then understanding why it's happening and stuff will help you to actually grieve that process so then it doesn't keep happening you know once you start to understand why you're feeling that way it allows you to accept that you're feeling that way a little bit more and then the more often that you do that, whenever that emotion comes up, because it's not just going to come up once, chances are it will keep on happening because it's a process. So when the emotion then comes up again around the same circumstance or situation, you can do the same process again. And gradually, this is how we heal, gradually it will happen less and less often and then before you know it you're not really thinking about that thing anymore and it's not really a trigger or a wound for you anymore but obviously this could take years it depends on what situation it is if you've been through something really traumatic this could take your whole lifetime like you may never stop feeling that way about it but you're just learning how to be present with how you feel rather than shunning how you feel so yeah I hope this was helpful this is just something that I learned for myself and maybe it will help you on your journey and yeah thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you and also listening on the podcast apps definitely check out the description box below for all links to everything about me my music my phone number because I do send weekly inspirational messages as well as updates and behind the scenes and stuff like that and yeah all links to my jewelry this is my handmade crackle quartz yellow crackle quartz necklace oh my god that's such a mouthful <laughs> but yeah everything else about me is in the description box below and i will see you in the next video have the best week bye oh yeah think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah think you might i'm the thing you like me all white, oh yeah, I think he might. I'm the thing he like, pick my range, all white.